good afternoon in this next episode I have in this next video I have decide, decided to do it in a different way in the previous video we were busy with making this roof which is still not accomplished this is half of the roof which comes at this side and I have seen it becomes very stiff as we are gluing these shingles on onto our house it becomes very stiff and I think it's better to glue the the, the under layer the base for the roof first and then install the shingles because then it's easy easier it, it won't uh, it look it gets very stiff and it will be a bit harder to glue it now into place now the other side of the roof is a bit more tricky the base to make the base for the other side because of the chimney what I did is I took a piece of scrap cardboard which is not this one this one is ready and I cut it more or less to, to the width which is this is the width of this one especially at the top here at the top they should be equal of width look if they are not equal it will be noticeable your model these ones are equal as you can see they are equal especially in the top it will be noticeable make it more or less square and use use such a thing so that you're sure that it's square and then I once I cut it to width I I mark the chimney and cut a slot as you can see this is a slot and then I started measuring 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 until I came until it came even level with the top the top should be level of course this and and I calculated the same overhang normal overhang so that the window would be visible but here I on purpose made that there was more overhang simply because I want there to be firewood there and there will be some supports of, of wood to carry to support the roof the weight of the roof there and like that it will be very nice because uh, the effect is um, it will give an effect that this is the ready one I, I'm installing it now it will be it will break the monot monotony it will make it less dull less yes let me see if you can see it so here there will come some piece of a track with stones and then the firewood will be lay under it and it will give a nice effect under it so what I'm going to do now is I will mark here from the inside more or less to know what which part of the inside has to be sanded I will sand the cardboard because otherwise the glossy side won't be it won't be able to 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 glue it because the glossy side avoids any glue to stick to it so I take a piece of sandpaper now once I cut it out to its measurements I think it, it's also a matter of improvising you you can do it as well just make sure that that it is to your liking I, mean, I can't uh, dictate er everything here it's also a matter of trying out yourself so I take a piece of sandpaper grit under 20 and I start sanding the parts which have to be glued to the wood and I give it a good sanding and make sure that there's no gloss anymore and that it starts to be a little bit rough that it is not slippery anymore because otherwise the our white PVA wood glue won't 
do anything. Well, I think that's enough. And then I'm going to club it outside like that. Um, we don't get all the dust in. You just rub around with your finger on it to to feel if it's giving some resistance. If it starts to give resistance, you're about ready. It's just that it shouldn't be too glossy. Because the glossy si side of the cardboard is no good. You will have a poor joint. Gluing joint. I think that's about okay. And then everything outside, and then we're sure that it is sanded enough, and then we can take some white glue and a toothpick. and apply enough glue on both surfaces that means on the wood and on the cardboard I always choose to I don't take any risk I always choose to choose for the the best I don't want to take the risk that it will get loose again now that you're installing the roof it means as well that the the house gets more fragile you have to be you have to take more care of the house don't put it in a location where because the the cardboard isn't of course that strong now we start to well i applied a little bit too much but i can still apply it on the the excess glue i hear i can take it or remove it with my finger and I apply it on the cardboard. Because it has no sense, too much glue will be squeezed out and it's just waste. I apply uh, on both sides because lots of the glue will be absorbed by the wood and by the cardboard that is why I apply on both sides it will give you a better result I know I I shouldn't do this with my finger but I have to hurry up and it is just water-based glue so you can wash it off with the with some water okay I have to hurry up because the temperatures are inside here are a bit higher starts to be become spring it seems like and then we apply a thin thin layer on the cardboard as well Uh, 
am working too slow. I have the idea that I should work a little bit faster as it is drying. And now it's ready to apply to press it into place. Now, last little moment, we will observe if it's in good into the good place. And I put quickly the lid onto my gluing pot. And we observe if it's well aligned. I have some reference lines on both sides here in the on the inside of the roof to know that I am more or less good. Now it's a matter of pressing down everything. You could do this with tape and leave it like that. I just press it into place. Yeah. If it's sticking out a little bit here on the top, you can always remove it with uh, some sandpaper glued on a stick, an ice stick or something. And I I like this method more because I. I think it will be more stiff like that because when you it's it uh, has the tendency when it um when you glue the shingles on it that it starts to deform and that's the reason why I change the system and I install the, the roof first and what I also do is I make sure that all glue that is squeezed out I remove it with a toothpick because later when it's hard it won't be it won't be uh, won't be possible anymore to remove so I prefer to to do that now And I just should have done this with the other side as well. Because it, de it deformed a little bit. The angle, this angle is not exactly the angle I wanted. But I just was afraid to install that piece of cardboard because I was afraid that it would be more fragile, my house. And that's why I, I didn't. But now, from now on, I will install the roof first and then glue the shingles onto, onto the base of the roof. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's fortunately there's enough glue contact here, so that will it will it will stay into place. And later on, we will with a some sandpaper glued on a piece of plywood or some something similar, we can remove the little axis which is popping out here. Now it's a matter of leaving it to dry. It will happen fairly quick, the drying process. It will dry with these temperatures, it will be dry in about 2 3 hours. It will be dry, but not hardened out. It will be hardened out overnight when we leave it to dry overnight, and the next day it will be dry. So that's it. And we should have done this with this side as well because then you will obtain a much better result. But as you can see the shingles add a very nice 
effect to the house. Okay, that's for this video enough. We will leave this to dry and I will continue putting shingles here. And then we can start putting shingles here as well. And then we have to add some strips here on the inside as well. And finish the door and install the top of the roof, which is just a strip of wood which is carved. But I will show that in the next videos. Thanks for watching and I hope I inspired you.